Greetings, planty people, and welcome back to my jungle. Well, that was a groovy one. So today's video is about all my favourite trailing and kind of draping plants. So this involves any plant that you'd have probably on a high shelf or growing up a moss pole. And of course I have my classic philodendron t-shirt on because I love philodendron and I will never stop wearing it. So yes, I hope you're all okay. Let's get into the video. So the first plant I have mentioned quite a lot in the past as a quite underrated plant because I feel like not a lot of people know or talk about this plant like at all and that of course is the Peperomia scandens variegata and I think last time I showed this was a few years ago it was about half the size and I had this kind of hanging because this room's in the loft I have it hanging on the window bar in a nice bright spot and look at those gorgeous leaves so this oh so I've just had some new growth beautiful the only thing is i found this one to be a little bit more thirsty than your typical peperomia it has like semi-succulent leaves but i just like how each leaf is so different and so beautiful i think i do want to get some normal ones so the one without the variegation and maybe add some more into here i just love it because it's so easy and it was actually i think it was really cheap i got it as a little baby this size for a few pound so that's probably like five dollars ish i just love it i don't really have much to say about this one i just I, th I just think everyone should give it a go if you do see it in a plant shop i see it more sold in places like a garden center because it's one of those common plants you know what i mean i think i'm gonna have to close the window now because there is construction going on how rude okay hopefully you cannot hear that we've got that kind of weird spring weather where it's sunny but it's a bit hazy but it might rain but it might not oh well it's gonna be sunny in a few days so but yes, I do really think you should give this one a go if you see it, because it looks, it doesn't really look like a peperomia and they can get pretty long. You can either have it hanging down or kind of trailing off a high shelf. I just think it's beautiful. Should we get another close up? I think that's my favorite leaf at the moment. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. So I think we all know I love philodendron at this point and this is a philodendron melanochrysum and this one is quite similar to the micans but it's got thicker stems and a slightly lighter stripe going down there but they are very similar there was the longest time where I thought my micans was a melanochrysum until I got a melanochrysum and I was like mm, that's a micans oh that was like a tongue twister but this is one of my newest plants I think I got recently I did a video on it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to have it growing upwards because when these leaves get really big, oh, it's beautiful. They get like huge. Like when I went to, was it the Eden Project in Cornwall? They had some huge ones growing. It's like an indoor jungle. And the leaves, i not even going to lie to you, were about a foot big. So that's like this big. And then I fell in love with them and now I'm obsessed with philodendron. So that's that's kind of i knew that was going to happen because the stems are quite thick this is just a kind of temporary fix eventually i'll train it to grow a bit more straight <laughs> maybe chop it up and make it a bit bushier but i just i love anything velvety and i found these to be quite easy just don't overwater it and then they can grow quite quickly there was a time where these were like really popular a lot of people have got a bit sick of it now not me though um <laughs> i did have a few cuttings from, from some friends a while ago but they didn't live so that's why I, I thought I would treat myself to, you know, a full plant. And I did manage to get a little baby from it as well that I'm propping, which I will eventually add to this. And this one likes kind of a bright spot, but not direct, like most philodendron. So this one is actually surprisingly long. And this is the Peperomia pepper spot, I believe. And same story with the other Peperomia. I got this as like a tiny little two pound plant didn't think it would grow that much but was i corrected yes i was so it currently lives on quite a high shelf so it kind of drapes down and it's in a lovely bright spot and this one is so easy as long as you give it a really bright spot and don't overwater it it will grow like this in absolutely no time i think i am going to prop some bits off though because it's getting a bit bold on the top don't look don't look but i just love the little tiny leaves i just think it's really cute and it's got that kind of red hue on the stems 
I just think this is a really good alternative if you have a lot of beef <laughs> with string of pearls this is a good alternative as it has a similar look but it won't break your heart and make you very angry <laughs> you can actually wear it as a necklace or a garland it's really up to you oh that really tickled okay see if you can guess what the next one's gonna be of course it's the philodendron brazil and i will never stop talking about this plant just look how bushy this is so i got this quite a long time ago i think it was one of the first plants i got when i got into plants and as you can see it grows like crazy i've chopped this one back a few times it's even survived thrips and the more light you give it the more variegation you get it looks a bit more like a neon pothos even though it's not the same genus i just love how when you get a new leaf it has an orange hue to it so it adds even more depth and variation it just grows so amazingly so i have this on a, a high shelf on a bright spot but not too bright and i have these little clips so i can kind of get it to grow across because these guys like to lean on things you can have it growing down but i found that you will get slightly smaller leaves and i want to get this one as big as possible you can get these quite cheap as well because they're one of those common plants like i was speaking about earlier and it's honestly one of the easiest plants i own i think i i water it every two or three weeks because they've got quite thick stems they hold a lot of water and the roots don't get too big so you don't need to upsize it as frequently as a lot of common plants i think this is one of my favorite kind of bushy plants and I will never stop loving it. I just think it's gorgeous. This leaf here, that one's my favorite leaf. I think I do wanna get some the slightly more rare variety. It's either Rio or Cream Splash or both, can't remember. And I think it'd be really cool to kind of incorporate them all together and mix them all together. Let me know if you wanna see a video on combining plants because it's something I've tried but I haven't really gotten properly into. Let me know if you do it yourself, I am curious. Okay, so next one is another little dainty one and you can probably guess it's the String of Hearts but specifically this is the Silver Glory. So this one was actually labelled the normal version and it was in a tray just of all the normal ones and I, I spotted it immediately. I'll see if I can show you a reference of how different they are. So can you see the difference? It's not very different to a non-planty person's eye. <laughs> this one actually on the back of the leaves has pink, whereas the other one's more like a minty green. And the actual and the tops of the leaves are a lot more cool toned. I don't think these guys are that expensive, but they're just a little bit trickier to find. And I think a lot of people have told me that they struggle with string of hearts, but the key, the key is really bright light, like even a windowsill. Um, you might disagree with me on that one, but I've, I have all the varieties and I seem to absolutely love it. And the second key is do not overwater it. I only water this one when it's basically begging for it. So when it starts to go a bit wrinkled, you can give it a squeeze. And if it feels thirsty, she's thirsty. <laughs> and I also find it's very easy to propagate as well. You just kind of chop in between each node. I think I've got a video on my TikTok and Instagram if you want to check it out. Let it root and then just add it to the top beautiful i love it i love the color okay last but not least is a big one so i'm gonna have to grab it one second Ooh. and yes i have shown this one a lot but i will never stop talking about it because she's beautiful and i've managed to upsize it quite big and as you can tell this is a philodendron micans it is different to melanochrysum i promise but i have been saying this till i'm blue in the face give her a pole i will be eventually giving her a proper moss pole and not one of these kind of coconut fiber ones so she has a chance to kind of a grip in there but since putting it on this pole look how big these leaves are getting so this is a new leaf and then they've been getting even bigger and i do want to propagate more pieces so it's like really bushy and just gorgeous but i just love this one so much because it's common it's not too expensive super easy growing and it just grows really fast <laughs> and you can kind of style it how you want you can have it growing down across up <laughs> it's really up to you but i do find you get bigger leaves growing things up things does that make sense <laughs> so i know it looks a bit scary like it would be quite a tricky one but from my experience just don't overwater it and don't give it a really really bright spot so give it more of a medium to bright so let me know what your favorite trailing or cascading plants are i would love to know 
I will see you in the next video. All my social medias are linked down below. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.